Super Mario Galaxy! You said a Mario, so welcome to what he said. So let's begin our epic journey throughout the universe. Yeah, you know, the safety precautions, they, they never get old. They have to see the beginning of every Wii game. They're preventing you from throwing it into the TV, which is nice of them. But at some point, it seems redundant. Ah. Oh. It's beautiful, isn't it? Just love the way it introduces you to the game. It just opens up orchestr orchestrated. So, um, this isn't actually my, uh, game. Well, my console with all the save files, because, uh, I actually got this Wii from somebody else, because mine broke. But I can't, that can't be helped. Actually, it could if I, if I would have taken better care of it. But I'm lazy, and I don't give a crap. I don't think I even... <laughs> I don't even know who half these me's are. Wait. Boo? What? <laughs> I, I take it that's someone dearly beloved. Peters? <laughs> okay. Um, this is going to be mine, because this kind of resembles me. Besides, you know, the intense look. I actually have a dopey look on my face. <laughs> And I could have probably done better, but either way, we're not we're not here to talk about me's. We're here to play a game and have very fun with that. So let us begin. Hundreds of years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became the Great Power Star. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. What? Oh my god, no way! There's actually voice acting in this game! <laughs> I love how Ma happy Mario is there. Just running around with his arms out, like doing the airplane thing. So yes, I love this game. This has got to be one of my favorite games of this generation. Well, probably, This is probably my favorite game, just all together, honestly. I love this one. It just feels so enchanting, magical. And inspiring, and why can't... Oh, right, I can't do that yet. <laughs> but yeah, um, if you point at the screen, you can collect these little things that are bouncing along the ground. They're called star bits, and uh, we'll figure out what they do later on. But for now, you can just walk around, jump around, have fun with yourself. Not too much fun, though, because that's kind of disturbing, actually. Yes, I went there! Ah, it's beautiful. Look at those crisp feel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the shit hit the fan, as it would appear. 
and Bowser has teamed up with the evil aliens that we do not know anything about to kidnap the princess. Lo and behold, he has thought this through absolutely none. <laughs> His objective has stayed the same throughout this entire game. Help me! I'm coming! Just wait. Oh god, they're shooting meteors at me! What the heck? I'm coming! Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing right now. Come on, jump with A! As if you couldn't figure that out already. But either way, let's follow this rabbit around for no reason whatsoever. Man, did you see all the havoc that was happening in that planet? Ooh, a bunny. <laughs> let's play hide and seek! Sure, why not? While my planet is in peril, let's play hide and seek. Who cares about those people? They just keep expecting me, me to do stuff. That's not right, man. Oh, that one just disappeared. Okay, whatever. So, yes. Very atmospheric game. It's beautiful. So you jump in that hole, and apparently a rabbit decides to jump out of the hole. It's not really a rabbit hole. I mean, have you seen the size of that thing? Holy crap. It, it's a crater, for Pete's sake. It's not a rabbit hole. Get back over here, you s Ah! There we go. You caught me! Yes, I did. <laughs> Aw, oh, if only I hit it in the pipe. And basically, when you catch one, the others pretty much tell you where the, they are. You can just explore the planet, too, which is also very nice as well. It's just such a beautiful game. Such beauty and majesty can only be met by the standards of Nintendo. Also, somebody who uh, can make video games as well. Uh, and the pipe? Yes, you did come out of the pipe. Okay. Come back here, you long-tailed varmint! I mean, long-eared varmint. What a long tail. <laughs> You'd be like a... Like a weird mutated tire or something. I don't know. You caught me! As if you didn't know. <laughs> I should have hidden in the grass. Okay, thank you for telling me where your other pals are. You guys suck at hide-and-seek, I can tell. Yeah, give me your coinage. If that's even a thing. Who cares? All right, let's look for the grass. That way we can catch that last little uh, star thing. What, 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 what are you? You're like little baby stars or something? Like your limbs haven't fully grown? That's the first thing I'd assume. Ah, it's such... So awesome. Oh, there you are. 
Come back here, you cute little rabbits! I'm so distracted from my planet being destroyed. Ah! Uh, there we go. I can't believe I let myself get caught. I can't believe you're not tricking me. Tricks. Wow, you caught all this? Maybe you really can't help Mama. Mama? Who's Mama? I have no Mama. I'm Mario. Oh my. And suddenly they built a coliseum. That way they could duke it out with Mama. <laughs> Maybe Mama's this gigantic beast that wants to destroy the world. She might be ugly as sin. And what the heck is that? What the heck? Oh my god. She's beautiful! I'm not gonna... Okay. I've been, I've been watching you here. From here. But this place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you need the power to travel through space. Huh? Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. What? Oh my god, he fused with me! I don't know whether to be terrified or freaking ecstatic. Apparently Mario's ecstatic though. You now have the ability to spin now. Shake the... this thing. This Astro struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the... eh, Grand Stars. May the star shine down on you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave. I love you. I love you. Boy, that's kind of sad when you're like a fictional character. Shake the eh to spin things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to stun them. I love how much color there was in that text right there. Um, so anything else? She, okay. So I can break things. So let's try nah, in this. Yes, that's it. And then we'll break this one. Oh my god, a giant star came out. This is a eh, large star. Shake the eh when you're near one to shoot through space like a comet. I don't know, would that crush my bones? Oh my god! Look at that! <laughs> that's cool, man. That's really cool. Uh, what you got for me? Hi there, good to see you. Not so good to see you. Look, I have some bad news though. See, I had a eh, launch star all ready for you, but a meteor smashed it up. Like, you can't leave without it, so find all the eh, star chips to find it. Oh, and be sure not to fall in the black hole. Really? The black hole is the least of your concerns? I think that's the most... I think that's the most important, let's be honest here. Um... Those enemies right there, I believe they're not actually Goombas. You earned one additional life, Mario. Yeah, as if we didn't know what lives were. Even if you're not familiar with the Mario series, I'm pretty sure we all know what a life is in this game. So, just as that little star thing said, uh, we gotta collect these star chips that we can create a launch star. Which will launch us to new planetoids. That way we can go to more planetoids. And I love how these are right, like, right next to each other. Amazing, right? Oh, yay! I happened to land, collect the last one right where it was supposed to be. Whee! The, the most famous thing about this game is its music. You just gotta love the music in this game. It's so magical. Like pretty much everything else in this game. I just love this game so much. It's a beautiful game. I cannot praise this game enough. You will buy this game and you will love it! I know, I hear, like, people like the second one a lot a lot more, and I'm okay with the second one. It just didn't leave as much of an impact with me as much as this one. Because this was the first one, and I just loved the first experience with this. Um, get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key! You can shake the eh to spin them around and make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them! Really? So, yes, you can um, basically spin enemies and then kick them. So, if you... If you uh, kick an enemy after you um, spin into them, they'll actually drop star bits. But if you jump on an enemy, they'll give you coins. What coins do is they actually replenish, bleh, replenish health, so you might want to uh, keep that in mind. I'll turn into a eh, sling star. Just jump in me after I transform! 
So yeah, the Sling Star is pretty much the same thing as the uh, other stars, just takes you shorter distances. I'm not really sure why they made a difference between it. Hey! No! No! Are you kidding me? Are you are you serious? Are you legitimate? <laughs> I'm gonna lose a friggin' Goomba, come on, man. If you take damage, grab a coin to boost your life! Yes, I already explained this to the audience about two seconds ago. Way to go. Thanks for making me redundant. I apologize if my skills are sucking. This is the first time I've played it in a while. I've had this game in the planning for a while, which is why I didn't play it, because I didn't want to ruin the experience for myself. Anyway, you destroy that giant Goomba, which doesn't take much as much effort as you'd think, and you get the key. I like how keys in this game, you don't have to walk up to it, they just pretty much do whatever. What is I didn't even know that did that, holy crap. I guess you learn something new every day. <laughs> you attack that and apparently it sends a shockwave. That's kind of cool. But we don't need to kill any more life forms on this planet. We don't have to be jerks anymore. Even though I kind of prefer to do that. I like how he doesn't turn into anything. He just kind of evaporates. Oh no, he went in here. Never mind. Well, he kind of went down here weird. We've been waiting for you. No, you haven't. Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. That's a, uh, a Grand Star! We have to save it! Okay. They're using the uh, Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something awful. It's making the SA forms? That's pretty much a good thing, isn't it? Quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine! Let's find a way to stop the awesome... something terrible forms! <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, so all you have to do is pretty much step on these uh, panels right here and turn them all blue because yellow defined by Mario logic is evil. Contradictory to what I think, because I like the color yellow. I mean, seriously. I like blue, too, but don't get me wrong, but... I mean, telling me that yellow is evil? Come on, man, that's not cool. But either way, now that we've turned all the yellow into blue, they all turn green, <laughs> and then we can get the gold. Colors, colors, look at the colors! <laughs> Good lord. Okay. And now that we've done that, we can collect... You guessed it. You got a... Grand Star! The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as the Class 6 star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Well, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home, and also the home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every hundred years. But we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away the star bits and the power source. Eh, st power stars. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which we could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the eh, power stars, and discovered the power to cross the universe. Please. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power. Oh, I forgot to put the eh. Okay. This, <laughs> this observatory uses eh star power to protect images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other eh power stars. 
These round rooms are called the domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one that is working right now, powered by the eh, power star you restored, is the one, the terrace. Please go to the terrace and try to recover the eh, power stars from the galaxy you can see from here, there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the comic observatory's abilities to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the eh, power stars. Mario's like, okay. <laughs> Mario's just standing there and looking at him like, uh, okay. <laughs> Sounds like you got this stuff figured out. I'll just go do the stuff that you keep telling me to do. Alright, so that's the first episode of Mario Galaxy. Well, Super Mario Galaxy, I should say. I'd like to thank you all for watching. And if you enjoyed this, please like or subscribe or whatever if you want to see more action over here. So, in the next episode, we're going to head into this little dome over here and start what is considered the beginning of the game. The Terrace. So, I will see you next time. Take it easy. And later.